so I love taking macro pictures so I was given this Olympus Tough TG5 um, I was really skeptical at first but now I finally figured out the camera and I'm taking amazing macro photos so I'm gonna show you how to take the macro photos that I'm taking and I'll actually also show you some of the pictures that I've taken. Ah, like them. best things about macro photography is that you don't have to travel to like Africa to take your photos. You can just go into your backyard. This is my backyard. You just walk around and you can find anything from flowers to insects and any little tiny thing and show a world that you would never be able to see otherwise. All right, so good things to have with your Olympus TG5 would be a little tripod. Um, if your hands aren't that steady, this actually makes the camera a little more steady. So it's good to start out. If you're taking pictures of objects that are not moving, like flowers, it's good. But if it's an insect, they tend to fly away pretty quickly. So it's good just to carry the camera two-handed. So this is a good thing. It's kind of like a handheld tripod that floats. So don't go swimming without this or you might lose your camera. Also, there is this um, Nikon lens pen and you can also get another type of pen from Target. Um, called the uh, mer mercury pen. So how this works is you push this up, you brush off the lens, and then after that you take this cap off on the other end of it and you wipe the lens like this. Now it's very important to doing that because if your camera is not clean, then you're probably not gonna take the best close-up clear photos that you can. So really quick, I'm gonna show you how to clean your lens because this is very important for macro photography. Any little dust particle that gets in the way can completely ruin your whole day of taking pictures. So you dust it off with the brush and then you take the top off and clean it like this. Just go into circles, first the outside and then the middle. Get, there is the Olympus LED guide. This little thing, I'll take it off so you can see. So this thing is like a light diffuser. Um, it's great for macro photography because if you hold down the info button, it turns on. So just hold it down, it turns on and lights up your stage. Helps your camera um, focus better. So, I 
so I can get off the hook. Alright, so now it's on. There are a couple settings. So auto. Auto is for just taking everyday photos um, of me, you, just normal sized objects. Now, the fish is for underwater settings and so there's four different settings. This setting is actually for underwater macro, but in my experience, and it's just me, um, the macro setting is the best. So go to macro for all your pictures of objects smaller than a tennis ball. And there are four different options to choose from. Focus stacking and focus bracketing are basically the same thing. They both take many pictures and they help to choose the picture that is the most focused. Microscope control allows you to go from far away, medium range, to four times, which is the closest this camera can get. My favorite setting is microscope mode because you can zoom in, zoom out as much as you choose. So hit OK. Uh, sounds like my duck just left. So hit OK to choose the microscope. Then, in order to turn on the diffuser, hold down the button that says info. So I'll show you as it turns on. So it's off. Let's turn it on. So now it's on. <clears throat> so the diffuser will help you help your cameras focus on um, close-up objects. And now, in order to get the most close-up view of an object, zoom in as much as you can. So with this, zoom in all the way. Alright, then the magical setting which is great for soft lighting like this, where it's not that sunny or inside, is the flash. So what you do is this little thing, pressing to the right, you press this, and you go to full. You also can go to LED on, which I believe turns this on, the, the uh, Olympus LED light guide. Um, but for getting the most close-up, like uh, clear photos, go to full and hit OK. The best photo is <clears throat> zoom all the way in, hitting this, zoom, and then hold down the info button to turn on the diffuser. camera as close to the object as possible and then lightly hold down the shutter button until you hear a high pitched beeping noise. And then snap the picture. And in macro photography it's good to take as many pictures as you can. Make sure that you get the most clear image. Press the play button. So there you go. And there is the pictures we took. There's one, there's another. So yeah, these are the pictures I just took. And you, if you want to look closer at the picture, just hit the zoom and you can zoom close. And if you want to move around the picture, hit up, down, side, side to side, and then hit zoom to look closer, and then you can zoom out, and if you zoom all the way out, you can see, so if you move it this way, it gets brighter, see, it gets brighter, if you move it this way, it gets darker. The best way to focus macro pictures is to have it on the darkest setting. Um, 
especially in soft light like this, but if it's very sunny outside, um, oh yeah, if it's sunny, always have it on dark, but if it's very dark, then put it on a bit lighter setting. Um, yeah, just play with it, and, but yeah, darkest setting is the best Examples of how to steady your arms. So, so if you are in a crouched position, put your elbows between your knees to keep your arms as steady as possible. Hold the camera as still as you can and be mindful any before you take a picture, just steady your hand and take as many pictures as you can until you get a clear the best clear picture that you can or until the insect flies away also like going down putting your elbows on the ground is good um, if you're standing um, putting your elbows on your legs is good like this Sniper rifle. I play video games. Take a breath in. Exhale. Steady your hand. Take the picture. Alright, so that is how you use the Olympus TG5 to take macro pictures. Well, at least that's how I do. As for lighting, soft lighting, like this. See the clouds? When the clouds are over the sun, I'd say they're, it's a perfect for taking pictures of tiny objects. For some reason, when it's really sunny, it's really hard for me to get as clear of a photo. Um, but if it's very sunny, maybe don't use the diffuser or the flash. Um, when I was beginning with the Olympus camera, I could only take good pictures in the sun, but now that I understand the flash, I actually prefer this lighting. And if you take pictures inside, definitely use the setting that I did. The, the microscope, zoom all the way in, and the flash. Another idea is when you approach bugs, do it kind of like a tiger hunting his prey or a frog slowly walking up on his fly to eat him. Um, slowly approach it, slowly, quietly, with as little motions as possible, and slowly move your camera towards the object, very slowly, so that you can decrease the chances that it sees you and flies off. So act like a predator stalking its prey in the bushes <laughs> and you'll do good. So yeah, this is my absolute favorite camera. It will make life as a macro photographer amazing and easy. Um, good luck out there. Mm -hmm.